Hello everyone, Ardrome Harris here from DVDScopy.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, another very simple uh, Blu-ray to DVD copy program called RIP2 Blu-ray DVD Copy. Uh, an extremely uh, simple program to use, uh, but you're going to have to have a third-party Blu-ray decryptor such as any DVD HD. And uh, that's not free. You'll have to purchase that. Uh, now, there are some free ones out there, um, but they're not so reliable. Right now, I do have uh, any DVD HD running in the background. And what that does is able to uh, decrypt the Blu-ray movie to allow the data to be imported into this graphical user interface. And right now, I have already inserted my Blu-ray movie into my uh, Blu-ray burner. All right, so the, uh, let's look at some of the features here. If we come up and click on settings, for example, we'll get another dialog box here. And at this point here, you can go ahead and type in a title, if you wish. In this case, I'll type in Terminator 2, or T2, whatever. Uh, after the copy is complete, what do you want the program to do? Do nothing, or shut down, reboot, I'll just say do nothing. The audio language, you can pull this down and you can select from the various audio languages. I'm going to select the English AC3 instead of the uh, DTS HD because the DTS HD uh, is a very large audio file. We're talking about maybe over one gigabytes of data that's going to be copied onto a DVD5 disc. That's too much. So uh, I'm going to select something that's much lower but that has relatively decent audio quality. Now, if you're going to be copying Blu-ray to Blu-ray, a Blu-ray movie to a blank Blu-ray disc, then uh, keeping this uh, DTS HD audio setting is fine. I'm going to select uh, AC3. If you want any subtitles, you can select them here. Here I have the options of going between English, Spanish, French. Um, scroll down, I'll just say none. I don't want any subtitles on my copied uh, movie. Once you've done that, uh, let's click on Burning. And this is where you're able to select uh, what you want to copy the Blu-ray movie onto. If you want to copy it onto uh, a DVD-5 or a DVD-9. Now, I'll be copying mine onto a DVD-5. Now, if you have a blank Blu-ray disc, then you go ahead and select Auto. And again, here you can also type in your uh, label. I'll just do Terminator 2. I'll just do T2. Keep it short. All right. Once you've done that, then go ahead and click OK. All right. Now we're back out on the main screen. Incidentally, I neglected to mention that uh, when you first load the program up, you'll have to come up here where it says uh, Add Blu-ray. You click on that plus symbol here, and you navigate to the drive that has your Blu-ray movie in it. You select that and click OK. Then you'll get this information here will be imported into the user interface. And as you see here, this movie has a duration of 2 hours and 35 minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, it's just one video, and you have 11 subtitles that you can select from. I elected not to have any subtitles copied onto the blank DVD. And you have uh, six audio languages that you can select from. And if you pull down here, you can uh, just you can select any one of these. And I'll just, uh, again, I don't want any subtitles, so I'll just leave this at none. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, once you've got all that imported and selected, go ahead and click Start Copy. It's that, it's that simple. And at this point, uh, RIP2, Blu-ray DVD copy, goes through the process of uh, ripping uh, the data down to your hard drive, and there it'll operate on it. Then it'll copy it on to the selected uh, DVD media that uh, you have. Now I again selected DVD 5. At the bottom here you have a progress window or a progress bar that gives you a progress as to how things are going and surprisingly the program is uh, relatively fast. I was very surprised at it and over here you can see the um, time in seconds and minutes and hours. Over here it gives you the percentage. So by the time that this bar gets all the way down to the end, the program will automatically eject the original 
Blu-ray movie from your DVD burner and it will prompt you to insert your blank DVD then you will be prompted to click a start button and then it will go through the process of uh, copying your Blu-ray movie onto a blank DVD so here is another one of those programs that work uh, very well and uh, again I didn't rank this very high only because it doesn't have all the features and uh, you will have to find for yourself or purchase a third-party decryptor such as any DVD HD which costs I think about $39 some of the, the previous programs that I reviewed for you uh, they have built-in decryption uh, capability another thing about this program that caused me not to rank it very high is that it doesn't have all the features you know there's nothing here that allows you to go in and you know tweak it uh, pick and choose what you don't, what you don't want on the copy DVD. It's a very simple uh, insert point and click copy program and again that's that might be exactly what others want and again very easy uh, to use. Alright so I'm not gonna have you go through the entire process of uh, watching the entire copy because it's gonna take about uh, oh three hours I suppose uh, something like that and that's standard when copying uh, Blu-ray movies so but uh, this is a program that works so I'm bringing it to you uh, take a look at it uh, if it's something that you think that you want uh, go ahead and download it and you can use it with confidence but please be cautioned that um, you have to have a third-party decryptor program alright so this is R. Trump Harris from DVDScopy.com reviewing for you RIP2 Blu-ray DVD copy thank you for listening